everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do this uh, quick video. It is a collab slash tag. Elle from Elle is for Living um, organized it all. And it is, as the title says, 2016 product user. So this is to encourage us, you know, us YouTubers and you, our viewers, to go through your stash and start using up things that maybe got pushed away and I have quite a lot you know being on YouTube you um, see and you buy so many new things and you forget about the things that you really loved and also there are things that maybe I have bought and didn't work so well for me but I cannot just throw them out because they are not cheap stuff so let's start with foundations i have two foundations that i really like and i review them both and um i obviously really like them but they are not my favorites right now and they have been pushed a bit to the back of the drawer so i am going to use up my guerlain lingerie de Pau, um Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation and mine is in 03. I really like this foundation. It is, I would say, medium coverage. You can build it up a bit, but I find that the colors, uh, the t choice of colors is not good enough. Um, I like my foundations to be a bit more on a yellow side. They have most colors are sort of neutral. So I could never get a color that was exactly what I liked, but this one was the closest. So I'm going to use up that. The next one is the um, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I've reviewed this one as well. Um, I don't know why it is called Sheer Glow. There is nothing glowy about it. Again, the coverage is medium buildable. Um, mine is in Punjab which is medium one. I do like it, but it is not my favorite. I love the color of it, I must admit. I really like it. Uh, the tone is just perfect for me. Um, so I'm going to use that one up. It is not something I will probably repurchase, but you know, you know me and foundations. I have so many foundations and a lot of them are favorites for a long time then something new comes out and also i have different favorites at different time of the year in the summer i suddenly like something different and i love it and when winter comes it suddenly doesn't work for me so you know it is a good foundation um but like i said it's been pushed aside the next thing you'll be so surprised is the laura mercier ritual the baked bronzer this one's got a bit flat but you know this has been my holy, holy grail for like a couple of years but since i've bought um the hourglass ambient bronzing powder i have been using that one more but that could be because it's a bit lighter than this this is a bit darker so i tend to use it more in the summer but i can use it for contouring my cheeks you know that would be perfect and because i have another one um as, as a backup you know i really should be using this up so i'm i'm going to try to use this one up um another thing is the balm Fred Boy um, blush. You might remember in a lot of my um, tutorials, I'll be using it like all the time and then suddenly I get something different and that gets forgotten. And I love this blush and it's a huge blush. Um, 8.5 gram, that, that, that is a big blush, you know, that is like a size of a powder. So I'm going to try to use more of that one and I hope to use it up. And then my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster BB Beauty Balm, blah, blah, very long, uh, long name. It is a um, bronzer, light to medium. And I love this. This is very, it's got slight shimmer to it, but it doesn't really come across. And it is such a, um lovely subtle bronzer and i think 
I should be using it now instead of my hourglass because it is so light so it's much better for the winter and I, I have used it a lot because for a while it, it was my, it must have been last winter, it was my favourite bronzer because it's so um, subtle and it's not very dark. If you've got very pale skin that would be brilliant for you. Um, I will list them obviously all down below. So I really really like that one and I'm going to try to use that up. Another thing which I adore <laughs> and completely forgot about it is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin, Skin Perfecting Micro Powder and mine is in to medium. As you can see I've been loving it because I hit pan on it ages ago but then suddenly I stopped using it. I think I've been using the banana powder a lot but this is a beautiful powder. It's so finely milled and it does give you that airbrush effect. The only thing is this one won't keep you um, shine free. It's not mattifying powder, more of a, like a finishing powder. So I'm definitely going to keep using that because I think I would even repurchase that one. I just haven't used it for ages so when Elle organised this tag I looked through my stash and I thought gosh I really love that. Another thing from Charlotte Tilbury is the Sophisticate uh, eyeshadow quad and I've made a quite big dent in it. It is all matte palette, um, you know, very neutral, beautiful palette um, and I have so many neutral matte palettes. I've got the Sonia Kashuk, I've got the Too Faced all matte palette, I have the Becca Ombre. I have so many neutral matte palettes that I have to start using them up and I thought this will be the easiest to use up because um, it is just four shades, so simple to do a look with it and I've done plenty of looks with it and this is great for every day. So when I'm not filming or I don't do anything, I could use this every day. Okay, another thing is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Okay. I remember when everybody was um, raving about this concealer, so of course I had to have it, and I wasn't that blown away. It's okay a concealer. I don't think it's that good for under your eyes. I don't think it's that creamy at all. I tell you what is much more creamy and what I, what I prefer is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. prefer that much more. But this one, I can conceal other things with it. I don't have to do it under my eyes so I need to use it because it is not something really cheap and it is not bad bad product a lot of people love it so I'm going to use that up <clears throat> another thing that YouTube made me buy it is the Smashbox photo finish primer water I don't really use it as a prime as a primer I use it as to finish my makeup you can see that suddenly I have much I've used up a lot because I'm trying to use it up. My absolutely favorite finishing spray is MAC Fix Plus. I use the MAC really to almost like melt all the powders together that I've used on my face because I use quite a lot of powders. You know, I will use um, obviously setting powder under my eyes, then I use powder all over my face, then I will use contour. So it's quite a lot of powder and then some finishing powder and the face can look quite powdery after this. So, you know, I've told you that a million of times. Um, I spray it with, with um, Fix Plus and sort of blow dry it and it seems to melt it all together and the finish is really nice and lum luminous, not shiny, but luminous and not too powdery. This, it's okay. Um, I, I don't like the smell of it, that's the first thing. It smells quite plasticky to me and I don't I don't think it's better than Mac it's okay so I am going to use it because again it's not a cheap product uh, but I won't be repurchasing that I will definitely buy fix plus okay uh, Mac dazzle glass in money money I love dazzle glasses and not every one of you will because they are sticky and they are dazzling I don't know if you can See how shiny they are. 
I had one of those before in color like Venus and I love that one. I've actually used it. I mean, whoever uses up whole gloss, I never do, but I've used that one up. And when I was coming to the end of it, I went to look at Dazzle Glass and I can't remember if they didn't have the like Venus or I thought, well, I try something different. I got this one. It is beautiful, but it's not my favorite color. Uh, but I still like it, if you know what I mean, and um, it looks beautiful on your lips, but it is very sticky, so I don't have a mirror here, so forgive I look in my viewfinder. It is so dazzling, um, so if you don't like sticky glosses, you definitely won't like this one. I don't mind them sticky unless I'm outside and the wind is sticking the hair to it because they last longer i feel like they last longer but anyway i want to use that up um and i probably will repurchase there like venus and i have two urban decay um lip liners liar and naked and i don't think urban decay lip liners are my favorite um and also, I have so many colours like this that it's ridiculous, really, the amount of nude lip liners that I have, but I still seem to reach for like five of the same ones. So I want to start using these two. One is, what did I say, Laia. Yeah, Laia, it's a beautiful colour, but I've got millions of lip liners like this. And then Naked is more of a pinky nude this one is more of a rosewood nude and and this one's more pinky so i want to use those up i do have one lipstick and again it's mac in cream cup my all-time favorite um pinky nude mac lipstick was angel but when i've used angel everybody was going cream cup cream cup so i thought i tried cream cup but to be honest, I still prefer Angel. There is cream cup. It is a nice color, but I think this is too warm for me. And I think cream cream cup, I'm sorry, Angel might be a bit on a cooler side. And I think it's a bit lighter. So I want to use that up. I actually have some things I should go back to MAC. And when I do that, I will get Angel definitely because I love that, that lipstick. And that's it, that's all I have. I mean, there is plenty of things that are obviously sitting there in my drawers, but they were the ones that I would like to use up pretty soon. So I'm gonna make every effort uh, to do it. I think we're gonna do like a check-in, um, maybe in March, I think Elle said, of next year and see how we've done with those products. So I really have to do it. Um, okay, so that's it. There will be a huge list of all of us um, underneath this video of everyone who has taken part. And please, if you feel you want to do that video, because we called it Collab Tag, you are welcome to do it. But also this list might help you to find maybe um, ladies of our age that you haven't found yet. Okay then, that will be it. Thank you very much for watching and i see you soon. Bye!